Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another little vlog review. This time of the Falling Skies Season 4 finale. Now, for those of you who haven't been with me through an entire season before, here's basically how it works. I'll be giving my vlog review of the finale, and then a few days on my blog, jashikins.blogspot.com, a review of the entire season should be out. Mind you, I also do other projects, so it might be a little slower. Anyways, on to the season finale and my review of the two episodes Space Oddity and Shoot the Moon. First off, I... Oh, okay, this might be my whole... I really need an evil Lexi so bad. And so I'm going with the theory that we don't know Lexi's true allegiance. As we've seen in the previous episode and also in the finale, Lexi seems to be very much a person who will go with whoever gives her the best chance of survival. At first, it was the Svenny. And then once the Svenny turned on her, she went to Tom. <coughs> and then when Tom and her get captured, she's like, oh, I always meant to be a Svenny. See, I turned the, t this human Tom in for you that you really are pissed off at. Come on, love me. Keep me safe. And that would mean that when she died at the end of this season, she planned to fake her death. She came up with it once Tom defeated this Fenny and he's like, and then she's like, well, gotta go with Tom now since he gives me the best chance of living. Then going, how about you just go, you know, in this place where you can't help me and watch me sacrifice myself. She even says that, I can do this. Of course, it could just mean her completing the mission, but I can do this. I can pretend to be dead. And I just want that to happen so bad because I want her to be an enemy next season. I want my evil Lexi. I want my evil Lexi so bad. But of course, she could just be a good person all along. And the whole little shared dream was actually truthful in her not playing on Tom's emotions. It could be her facing her fear and Tom facing his fears and then them coming together as daughter and father. Could happen. I'm like, I just want my evil Lexi. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just my little theory out there. More born out of hopeful fan desires than I really think this works. <laughs> of course, I really do think it works, but I just want evil Lexi. <laughs> and back on Earth, because all the characters weren't in the little spaceship. Anne and crew have to fight this thing that turns people into skitters. What it does, it lands sort of like a bomb, then it opens up, and then little slug-like things try to attach themselves to people and turn them to skitters. And it was great seeing Anne figure out how to defeat this fox so it didn't, you know, make her freeze up. She used a flamethrower. Uh, oh, okay, I'm a little pyro, and in Dead Space Extraction, my favorite weapon is the flamethrower, which sadly only ha you can only really use it against one part of the final boss. I wish I could fight the final boss, which is the flamethrower, but so when I see Anne with the flamethrower, I'm like... 
of course, then I still have this worry of, it's going to go out on her at one time. It, no way is it going to work the entire time, and it does crap out. But it was cool when she was firing the flamethrower. And finally, at the very end of the episode, these aliens rescue Tom, and one of the aliens appears, and Tom goes, oh, so that's what you look like, and then goes, you're beautiful. And then lots of people on online are like, oh my god, how could she find that sexy? Oh, is he turned on by aliens? Blah, 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 blah. The truth of the matter is... He might have been doing it just to keep alive. I mean, it, his expressions and how he said it seemed to be more like, Oh, I have to compliment this creature so I don't die. So, until season 5 rolls around, which will be the final season, sadly enough, is, does Tom find it beautiful or not? But right now it's like, he's doing it out of survival. Because you get rescued, and you might not truly be sure of what the whole species is like as a whole. You're not going to go... You're fugly. You you just don't do that. And yeah. But my final thoughts of the finale episode Space Oddity and Shoot the Moon. It was a good it was good. Of course we had to have a cliffhanger for season five. Maybe the alien that appeared to Tom was the greater threat, and those aliens might turn out to be bad. I like seeing Anne and the people on Earth fighting, like they had the scare thing, so at least they had something to fight. I like Tom and Lexi bonding, even if I think that was a whole ploy by Lexi to make Tom trust her more. So I like it. I just don't really understand people this season, like, oh, Lexi plot ruined the whole thing for me. I, I think this season is a major upper. It kept me more interested than last season did. And I have been Jashikin's owner at jashikin.blogspot.com. If you go to my blog, you'll see vlog reviews like this. and. As I said before, the season four review should be up on my blog in a few days. Also, my the next part of my anniversary read should be up in a few days, and it'll cover four more chapters of number seven, The Stranger. And if you go to my blog and the sidebar thingies, sidebar thing, and you can see where else I'm am on the web and drop in and say hi and if you're watching this on YouTube in the description there will be a link to donate your account and if you click on the link and donate your Twitter and or Facebook accounts to my campaign that'll help me that'll really help me spread my audience so if you're watching this and going hey I think Chashikins really deserves a bigger audience this is your way to help and until next video, goodbye.